Hi guys, welcome to Zelda Ocarina of Time. Now, I've been wanting to play this for a long time, but I didn't have a TV, so I couldn't play it on my old N64. Now, I am playing this on my N64, I'm not using an emulator. Uh, well, because the, you have to play this on the controller. But uh, anyway, I got all my tricked out stuff. And I thought I'd record it, because, you know, it's awesome, and sure, I, I wanted, um, yeah, I wanted you guys to follow me along on this epic path. Um, yeah, it's gonna be amazing. Uh, this is like my uh, favorite game ever from when I was a kid. I know I say this at most of my playthroughs, but this is actually true. Uh, now, I have played a whole bunch um, got through the first uh, every, uh, I got, well, got through the first one but I lost the recording of my voice so I'm going to have to play it again I don't mind uh, well, I don't mind because it's an awesome game so it this is going to be my screen name, obviously, um, and uh, it can't say Praetorian, so I'm just going to go with Praetor, um, so that's cool. So anywho, let's get started. In the vast, deep forest of Hyrule, long have I served as the guardian spirit. The children of the forest, the Kokiri, live here with me. Each Kokiri has his or her own guardian fairy. However, there is one boy who does not have a fairy. I remember thinking this was so spooky when I was a kid. I got nightmares in this cutscene. Yeah, that was it. That gave me nightmares. I was kind of a wuss, but then again, I was like, Five years old, seven, seven, eight, something like that. Navy, Navy, where art thou? Come hither. O oh, Navy, the fairy, listen to my words, the words of the great Deku Tree. Dost thou sense it, the climate of evil descending upon this realm? Malevolent forces even now are mustering to attack our land of Hyrule. For so long, the Kokiri Forest, the source of life, has stood as appearing outsiders and maintaining the order of the world. But before this tremendous evil power, even my power is as nothing. It seems the time has come for the boy without a fairy to begin his journey. The youth whose destiny it is to lead the land, lead her rule to the path of justice and truth. Navy, go now. Find our young friend and guide him to me. I do not have much time left. Fly, Navy, fly. The fate of the forest. Nay, the world depends upon thee. Wow, that's a biblical tree, man. And getting flying sequence, yay! <laughs> Through his legs. Hell yeah. I'm such an epic flyer. 
Hello. Doodly 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 do do do. Well, that's pretty heavy, man. Oh, where the hell is this guy? In there. Let's go. <laughs> Ding. <laughs> Oh man, it gets cracks me up every time. It's like, hell yeah, it's over there. <laughs> Ow! Hello, Praetor. Wake up. The great Deku Tree wants to talk to you. Praetor, get up. Hey, come on! Can Rule's destiny really depend on such a lazy boy? <laughs> the best noise ever. I always say that when I wake up. You finally woke up? I'm Navy the Fairy! The Great Digger Tree asked me to be your partner from now on. Nice to meet you. The Great Digger Tree has summoned you, so let's get going right now. Yeah, let's get going. It's this way, right? Kokiri Forest. It's just gonna be me humming the whole whole time. I love the music in this game. <laughs> I'm not even gonna be compensating, I'm just gonna hum the music. Ah Hi, Brayton! Yeah, that's her voice. It was a very short Luckily it was a very short conversation, so What's up? Wow, a fairy! Finally a fairy came to you, Praetor! <laughs> wow, that's great news! I'm so happy for you! Now you're a true Kokiri, Praetor! Is that right? The great Dago Tree has summoned you? It's quite an honor to talk to the great Deku Tree. I'll wait for you here. Get going. Go see the Deku Tree. You have a very annoying voice, madam. But I think you're kind of a love interest. Which kind of, which is kind of annoying, considering. Well, the Deku Tree was over here, right? I think it was. Hello there, mister. Can I just... What? What are you saying, Navy? The Great Deku Tree has summoned you. Please, come with me. Well, lead on, Navy. Are we going over here? But this, this guy is in the way. What's up? Hey you, Mr. No Fairy, what's your business with the Great Deku Tree? Without the fairy, you're not even a real man. What? You've got the fairy? Say what? The Great Deku Tree actually summoned you? What? Why would he summon you and not the Great Mido? This isn't funny. I don't believe it. You aren't even fully equipped yet. How do you think you're going to help the Great Deku Tree without a, both a sword and a shield? Ready? What? You're right, I don't have my equipment ready, but if you want to pass through here, you should at least equip a sword and a shield. Sheesh. I like the fact that he started out with kind of a Russian accent, but it ended like an Haitian or something. <laughs> because, because that's just 
it's it's very similar places, Russia and Haiti, so so they have very similar accents. And they were both colonies of um, of uh, Hanover, so so it's, it's it makes sense if you think about it. Now the sword, I'm pretty sure the sword is over here. I just did, as I said, I did a playthrough where I really sucked. Um, not where it really sucked, where I lost the voice. Comments, Tato thingy, and I did think about maybe I should just just fake the commentary thing, but it wouldn't be that funny, I don't think. Um, and I wouldn't. I'm not a good enough actor to make it realistic, so I had to do it this way. Oh what? What? Oh, wait! Run! Link! Run! Run! The thing is coming! God damn it. How did that even happen? Couldn't see it. What does this thing? Visit the house of the Know It All Brothers to get answers for all your item related questions. Really? No, oh, that's awesome. <laughs> okay, this is a sword. Okay? You understand? Yes, and I wish to equip my sword, 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 my Kokiri, sword, sword. So, now we're tricked out with this fabulous sword. You can use it for swinging and thrusting. For example, uh, after I just enter this hole and come out on the other side, I'll show you how I can use this epic sword thingy. See if you have this, have this bush right, right, this like, oh, it's like a bush over here, and I can just if I if I push forward. And then the sword button, I can just thrust my sword into the bush, like so. And you just, just gotta love thrusting bushes. It's just... Just, you know... Yeah, that's, that's just amazing, you know. Thrusting into stuff, especially bushes. There's also a hole over here, I could do the same, but... I think that that's a little f too phallic, I think. I mean, it wouldn't be proper for me to do that. But, pss, stop. No, stop. Stop. I, I want not to. Go away. Go away. <laughs> no! <laughs> no, I'm trapped! I'm trapped! Kill it! So kill it! The sign. Help me! God damn. <laughs> no! No, 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 no! Fuck. Oh, that worked! But not. God damn it! That worked. Sheesh. And the shield, I believe, is in the shop over heads. The shop heads. Um. So that's where we're going now. And all these guys, uh, all these villagers say something that is not really important, it's just tutorial stuff. Like this girl. Look over here with C and talk to me with A! Yes, yes! That's how you use a fairy! It's so great that you finally have a fairy partner! I'll teach you how to talk to people using your fairy. You just did that. When a fairy flies near a person or thing, press C to look in that direction. I know that already. If you use C targeting, you can talk to people from distance like we're doing now. When you have nothing that you can target, you can press C. Just look forward. Try it. But you're in the way, I can't. Well, yeah. Okay, fair enough. 
I'll just go into the shop if you don't mind. <laughs> What's he doing? It's like... <laughs> now you see me, now you don't. 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 Okay, you get the picture. And it's now time to end this episode. And so I hope you're enjoying this, because I am. And see you around next time. Bye.